So hear me out. It made sense to me to start our search to fill in the map where we started the game. So I am back in the Atia region in the Torchlight Hill where we had the big opening battle, which feels like a lifetime ago. And I'm going to start looking at the map. I've got it pulled open here on Gamer Guides. I'm going to get rid of everything that right. isn't. Let's see, hide all. You can't see this. It's on a different screen. It doesn't matter. I guess what we need to find Every are landmarks, locations, go. rest spots, and secret areas. I don't know if locations are as important, hmm. but I'm going to go through each and every part of the map and see if we've got them all. This region might already be filled in. We've walked everywhere, so if there's any shades of darkness, I imagine we've just gotten rid of them by walking close to them, and so it, it would be hard to tell. I wish I'd thought about that in advance and left a little shadowy portion somewhere. Especially because areas won't show up on the map here, I don't believe. Icon filtering? What can we show? Landmarks, rest spots, we don't need shops. Named graves we'll leave on. I don't know if I have them on on here. I guess we could leave those on because then, you know, we'll know where the monsters are too. Ether channels, traversal skills, fabricators, points of interest, I'll probably leave on. Ether spheres. So these are the four things we're looking for here. Okay, yeah, so I found my first problem. This area here is called Sonata Saddleback, and I'm sure we've been there and we've seen that pop up on the screen. But unless we walk there and visibly look on our screen and verify it, we'll not know for sure. Which I imagine this is going to be something very annoying we have to do a lot. Sonata Saddleback. There we go. Tell you what, just based on that, I've already changed my mind. We are going to scour the map for all of the enemies that we want to fight. And we're going to make sure that we have all the major things, like the landmarks and rest spots and secret areas. But the only region that I actually care about, because if we have a look at the map, I've actually done a pretty decent job filling in most of these regions, you know, by just wandering around them. Like, I know there's some stuff missing in the Fornis region, because I do have a little spot missing there. And that's my, that's my test spot, right next to the Salus Terrace camp that I'm glad that I left. But... I'm not really worried about that. There's really only one region where it bothers me, and that's Cadencia. Because of because of this. So so we're gonna do that. That's the one we're gonna make sure we 100 percent What is what the heck? What the heck is these? Oh, oh, oh. That's part, <laughs> part of the Ascension quest before. Uh, but we are gonna go back to the Atia region and make sure that we got all the monsters. So I found the first of the monsters that we've apparently missed, which is somewhere out here. It is called the Phantom Straya. I don't see it. It doesn't mention that it only spawns at certain times. Maybe you just have to jump down here and wait for it to spawn. Oh no, I found it. It's just one of these guys, and I think it's a pretty low level. A 51. This should be easy. I'm also going to watch some Jimmy RuneScape videos. And there is this one defeated. And I just realized some of these monsters you fight, if you defeat them with the soul hack, uh, hero... Hold on, we might, we might swap someone. I think that Lance is the only one who can do that at the moment. But if you defeat them with that selected, don't you get some stuff for it in some way? Soul hacker. I'm pretty sure that's a thing, but I don't know how it works. I don't want to make him the soul hacker, though, because he's currently a... I mean, we can make someone else a defender. That's not that big a deal. So I, I make him soul hacker real I quick, do though. That. How does that work? What, what screen do I need to go to for this? Is it under arts? No. Is it under skills? Mm, classic skills? Roll skills? Is it these things? What? Wait, what? Oh! Yeah, okay. Class skill. When defeating a unique monster, gain a skill or art. That's convenient. And then roll skills is you can just choose how you want him to play. That's weird. Tough soul and dodge soul. Change the role to defender, granting a high HP value and take enemy attacks. Change the role to defender, giving specialization in evading attacks. We'll do this one, I guess. Um, because I said so is the reason. Oh, interesting. He has no arts. That's... that's fun. Okay, then. This might be a terrible mistake. We'll see. There's gym selection. Definitely doesn't make any sense. Uh, because he'd start each battle with aggro for sure. 
and then reduces aggro generator. That's awful for him to have. No, there we go. I don't know if that's going to be a good thing that we've done or a bad thing that we've done. I, I can't say for sure. What I do know is that that's one more monster down. And then in terms of monsters and everything, it looks like this area is completed. We've done them all. And then this leads up top. So, I believe there's a monster actually. Hold on. No, yeah, I'm missing one. That that bodes ill. I've just boldly declared we've got them all, and there's definitely a giant bird here in Cooley Lake that has wrecked us a couple of times from memory. This will be satisfying, because we're level 99 now. I don't know what level that big, stupid bird is. Where even is it? It's not that one over there. I know it's not that one over there. Is it that one there? Is that the big, stupid bird? Get it. Let's go. Send this thing to the abyss. I'm so ready. I'm so ready for this. Uh, we'll replay this, but we'll just do a new game plus where we race through focusing on story. And it'd be cool to have everything unlocked for that. Is Noah dead? Is, is Noah, did Noah die? Oh, this is bad. You son of a gun. Keep flying. Do not stop. You gosh darn it. Oh, no. I'm down. Mio's down. Senna's... Uh, I am Senna. Never mind. I was about to say Senna's down. Don't you go down, Yudi. Don't you go down. This is, this is, this is going very poorly. Is Tyon down? Tyon's down. How do you, can you quit this? How do you get out of this? Is there a button you could push? If I push all the buttons, I didn't want to take a picture. There's a dedicated picture button. Why does hitting both bumpers, yeah, 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 get me out of this battle. Why does hitting both bumpers also take a picture? Oh, I think we determined that. It gets rid of the, um, yeah, it gets rid of the UI is what it does which is kind of cool. We're gonna go over here and fight it, because this, even though it's covered in fog, looks like more flat terrain, I reckon. So we might have a better better odds of defeating it. There we go, all right, it's coming. Here we go. This is it, this is real, this is happening. Here we go. Get it. This fight music, though, it's got a real jazzy flair to it, I'm digging it. I'm also just kind of using these attacks at random. Everyone's alive and actually in pretty good health, and we're going into a chain attack, baby! Okay, what do you just do? Reduce ether defense by 50 percentage points during a chain attack. Yeah, it doesn't really matter so much, but you know what does matter is the fact that prevents order from... Yes, that's what we want. We're going for at least 5 mil on this one. I don't know if we'll make it, but that is the goal, is to get to 5 mil on this one. So we'll do this to give everyone power charge. Oh, it's so good now that we know what that does. That's also just so little damage. It gets us to 200, though, and it doesn't matter even if it didn't, because as long as we get over 100, the next attack's gonna be our, uh, Oruboros attack. So everyone's gonna come back. Okay, so he's he's enraged now. He's Wait, why didn't we get an Ouroboros attack? I didn't see how big that number was. How Was that 2.9 million? I, I didn't see how big that number was. It could have been bigger, though. Why didn't we get... We had Tyon, and then we finished on Senna. Why didn't we get an Ouroboros attack? Now everyone's dying. Why is everyone suddenly dying now? What is going on? We we had such a banger. Oh my gosh. Oh no. We're all about to die. I don't think we're getting out of this because all of our healers are dead. Mio and Lance can't finish this on their own. What happened? I'm still so perplexed by the chain attack. Why didn't we get our Ouroboros? I don't get it. But I'm very upset, because we could have done so much more damage if the game had let me do my Ouroboros round. And I don't know why it didn't. We have two defenses, and we've got one regenerate, and I'm the only one standing in them. Why? I mean, everyone's standing in at least one of them, but we, we could have everybody in all of them. No, how are you already downed? We just came out of the chain attack. All we gotta do is get to another chain attack, and then we can beat this thing. Maybe what we should do next time, if it defeats us again, is just hold on to the chain attack until the moment he gets enraged. And then we go into the chain attack and we just skip that whole bit where he's furious and flinging massive attacks at us. Oh, you son of a gun! Oh, you- I hate you so much. I cannot even put into words the amount of hatred I feel towards you right now. If we can somehow, miraculously- I always oh, Mio out! Someone's out! Who's out? Ugh, I don't even know. It's Mio. Mio must have gone down. Mio is our... We can do this still. Soul hacked. Enemy skill. Eagle rush. I don't know what that is. Ionius is the strongest. Three out of five. Good on us. 
Everyone ranked up to. Oh, look at that, everyone. We're at 200 hours now. Congratulations. Pats on the back all around. Yep, a T-region upper clear to the T-region, as far as monsters go at least, uh, is clear. Apparently this guy here is a boss. I think we've come across him a number of times. I don't know if we've ever actually stopped to try and fight him. I'd rather not fight all these little guys down here, but if that's what needs to be done in order to fight the big guy, like, sort of unabated. I don't know if they'll actually get involved, though. We might, and even if they did, they're so small. It doesn't matter. Don't we get chain attacked by taking damage, or am I crazy? We're, we're gonna see if we can f defeat this thing from where it currently is all the way to, to, to non-existent in a chain attack. I think I've just come up with a strategy. If we use a healing completion bonus, which you can't always do, because the game's kind of random on which ones it presents you. But if you use that on the first round, it'll guarantee that Uni comes back as one of the three heroes that comes back. And then that way, you can guarantee they should be there to power boost the entire party. The, the issue is, of course, remembering to do that uh, when the time comes. That first round, though, hitting over 200 and getting that 400% ba uh, damage buff right out the gate for the remainder of every attack at a minimum getting 400% damage, that's a big move. I don't think we've ever had a damage multiplier that clean before. You know what I mean? Like a clean 200%. That's crazy. Uh, side break for me, and please don't go too high. Oh, you lunatic. Made me a little bit nervous. <laughs> that was so much damage. Oh my gosh, she just almost did a million damage herself, if I'm not mistaken. Now, I feel like he's gonna do more damage. Than, than Mio will, because he's an attacker. He's gonna deal more damage, I think. And it's okay to end it like this, because we don't need him to come back for the next round. 1,500% damage, well, this might be the most damage we've ever done, at least in the base game. Again, we got crazy numbers in the DLC, but this might be the most we've ever done, and I think we've beaten it in the base game too. I think I don't think we ever got no five mil in the DLC. Maybe we did, I don't remember. You'll have to comment down below and remind me if you watched that. But this might be seven and a half million. Yes. I mean, it's not seventeen million, or you know. I mean, I've, I've seen people get crazy high numbers, but that's still really good. What did Nia's buffs do? I mean, I love having Melia in the party. Can I not? Oh, it's because we're moving. There we go. I love having her in the party, but I'm curious to see what Nia does. I, I don't know. Oh, our 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 rank is maxed out. Has anyone else's? No, but a couple of people are close. I don't know, I've had fun with uh, Flash, Flesh Fencer. I don't know what Full Metal Jaguar has to offer, but I guess we can find out. There's a lot of really useful accessories that we don't use that I feel like if we ever do fight a level 200, we should definitely consider adding to certain individuals, but not right now. So near the Sophrona tree, it looks like there's two monsters, one up here, and one over here. So I guess those will be next. So I think what we're looking for is right around here, and it is titled the Kilicorn Grand Eps, which looks like a gigantic stomp. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was not a bit. I did not. I was not looking at the screen. I didn't know we were there. Uh, he's a level 95, so he's not going to be a pushover. But that's okay, because neither am I. Although we are using a new class now, so I don't actually know what anything we have does. And I'm going to have to just kind of figure it out. Oh, good. My side attack is now a rear attack. I do still have a side attack. I can also still launch enemies because I just kept pressure drop because it's important to me to be able to do that. I've got a fast charge and also removes aggro. This is the best place to be standing right now. I don't think I can actually cast two fields at once though, right? Unless a... Remove aggro and axe up, whatever that means. Uh, accuracy up? That might be... That might not be like a, a field. Whereas field fast charging is definitively a field. You can tell based on the name. Can I actually... There are things that we can equip. I don't know why I've never looked into this. But it looks like we can kind of cheese it with accessories to get... And, and also skills, if we wanted to, to get guys that can't otherwise be broken and toppled and launched into a position to, like, remove the things that make them resistant to such uh, moves and maneuvers, which would be fantastic. 
This feller is having none of this. He's throwing a hissy fit. I gotta keep this fast recharge field up. That's gonna be super useful. Especially as I continue to try in vain to get this thing to break. I guess I'll go ahead and just use the topple. You know, we might as well make use of it while we've still got the- Oh, hello, where are you- where are you going? Also, that was a back attack, and I think I only accidentally used it from behind. I need to stop talking as well. Because if I don't talk, I can cut all this out. And I- I kind of wanted to keep- Oh! Someone actually managed to break it, and my topple's not here. Okay, well, let's get my recharge up. Oh, man, it's a shame we're not about to go into the chain attack. Are you kidding me if the chain attack was charged right now? Oh, it looks like a bunch of people took damage there. Oh, I missed my opportunity! Oh, I wasn't paying enough attention! I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna see if I can get it launched before we actually before we actually do the chain attack. What I was gonna say is I wanted to keep the video of fighting all the monsters, like, I wanted to keep that down to one video. But if I just keep talking, and then I sit down to edit, and I'm like, oh, no, this is all comedy gold, it's all staying in, then the videos are gonna get really long, and I'll, I'll feel obligated to split them. But oftentimes that happens and they're not actually good. I just for some reason feel like, well, it's content. I can't delete the content. Someone might find these enjoyable. I don't know why, but they might. If that's you, comment down below. Let me know that you exist, please. Please. I'm asking you, please. Maybe someone else needs to go ahead and break it. Clearly I lack the ability. We're doing great. I mean, obviously we're slapping it. We're four levels higher than it. And it's a pretty chill combat encounter so far. No one's, no one's close to... Like, there's no- we're nowhere close to party wiping or anything like that. Dang it. I like having Nia in the party because we get that Xenoblade Chronicles 2 theme, battle theme. You know the one. I can't wait to replay that game. I- I love that game so much. Not even- <laughs> I actually think I might like the mechanics of this game better. But, I love the story and the characters of that game. Also, this guy actually managed to down someone, which is pretty impressive. Alright, we're going into the chain attack. This is taking too long. Maybe we can launch him in the chain attack and he'll stay launched. I don't actually know how that works. What do you do? 100% strive all downed party members. Allowing them to participate in the chain attack. That is entirely useless to us. This would be overpowered if she also had a lot of TP. If we give her a TP boosting item so that she could guarantee like over 200, or at least 150 TP each round, then we would get the big damage multipliers, and then we could also guarantee- well, she won't reactivate herself. But we could at least twice, if not three times, during a chain attack, I think twice would be the max, we would get her back and we would be able to use basically the entire party so long as they don't have high TP uh, to do more damage. Well... That cooked it. <laughs> this has been a very poor run. A lot of that is not down to our hero, but down to my poor decisions kind of executing the run, like right there at the end. I'm gonna say, if even two million, then two million. But definitely not more than that. It's not hard to tell if you just count how much damage you're doing as you go, but I don't. Two and a half million. It's not awful. We've done better, though. And now, yeah, I feel bad when we don't do better. I took a different approach this time and managed to get a high edge damage multiplier a higher damage multiplier uh we're still not going to be hitting any records this time around i just don't think that nia is as good as melia turned out to be for chain attacks and the one we haven't tried still is a shara who we were told on a random reddit post is amazing for doing big damage so we'll have to try that yeah barely scratched the surface of two mil Soul hacked, though. That's good. I don't know how many of these things there are to soul hack. That was one of Ionios' strongest, though. There's only one left. So if there's actually a level 200 enemy, which I'm not sure still is a thing, we, we, we stand a good chance now. So having a look at our map, the next one's going to be up here, which means I have to figure out how to get up here. Okay, well, getting over here was easy because there's just a tunnel. And then I think I remember coming over here before. Um, and, and I'm not going to claim that I remember this being here. I saw that on the map, obviously. But I do have a memory of being here before. Oh, yeah. Okay, level 50. All right. Well, this is going to be a walk in the park. We do have a Shara in the party, or Ashura, if you're so inclined. And we might end up... Oh, look. Yeah, this one can be soul hacked as well. Am I going to have to go back and fight all the monsters I've already fought before to get the soul hack maxed out? That's only a tertiary goal. We might not go through with it. 
I might bail on that one, if that's what it ends up being. Because even though I don't want the game to end, I'll be honest, a lot of my draw in these games, it's not combat. You know, I think now that I understand how chain attacks work, I find them to be quite fun and it's enjoyable to get big number. You know, anyone who grew up playing RuneScape knows that getting big number is fun. But I play these games because I like the worlds and the characters and the stories, and now that all of the missions and quests are wrapped up, and we've done all the hero stories and everything, that sort of draw, like, what basically is keeping me here is, is wanting to get that sense of, oh, I've completed the thing. Oh, good, they're launched. It's a shame that we're not ready to do a chain attack. We're not going to do a chain attack. <laughs> we're not gonna worry about it with Doom Fang calm here. I think we're gonna we're gonna defeat this guy and then we're gonna bail. I'm still having fun. Obviously I'm having fun or I would have stopped already. But I am not looking I'm no longer looking to stretch out the runtime. You know? I was loving the game so much after the post game, I wanted to do all the quests and I wanted to do all the character stuff, and now I'm in that sort of wind down phase where it's like, okay, I mean, I, I kind of want to, I kind of want to see what all the big monsters are, and if there really is a level 200 monster somewhere out here, I do want to try my hand at it, and I want to try to get 17 million damage in a single chain attack. But I'm not, I'm no longer looking for those reasons to draw out the game the way I used to be. So having a look at the map here again, we are using the Gamer Guides map. I'm sure it's complete and fine. Uh, that guy, that guy. That guy. There's one down here. And there's one up here that I haven't gotten. And it's right there next to that little sliver. Is it the big monkey? Because I remember there being a big monkey around here. No. It is not. Also, it also has a soul hacking ability. Does every creature know? No. Yeah, Grand, De Grand Depths doesn't say that it has one, but I thought it did. I seem to remember it having one. Everything else seems to. I don't... <laughs> if it's what it comes down to, that... Oh, hold on. We can just fast travel right here. If it's what it comes down to, maybe I will go back and fight everything that does have a soul hack ability. Should we actually, now that we've defeated a few more monsters, should we have a look at... Oh, I need to... Well, I, do I care about swapping characters out anymore? We're not, we're not trying to max out all of the... It, you know what? Let's hold on. Let me finish saying what I was going to say. Let's have a look at our skills. So new, we have Eagle Rush, Chained Auto Attacks, Increased Attack Speed, Auto Attack Interval is also shortened. I don't think that the NPCs chain attacks, I could be wrong. Boost Evasion by 30%, while Art is active. Boost Maximum HP by 10%. 6% chance to inflict Target Lock on enemy whenever an ally's HP becomes critical. That's not bad to have. Why did we only ever have one thing up here, anyway? 25% chance to heal nearby allies upon taking damage using 100% of healing power. You're not a healer. Does that even work if you're not a healer? I don't know. We'll put that on there and we'll see whether or not it does anything. Uh, evasion arts? Well, yeah. Yeah, good. Evade. If he evades, then he'll be able to absorb more damage in the long run, I guess. That's a good one. Survive a KO. I've watched that happen a number of times in some recent boss battles, where she'll get hit hard and still have one HP and someone can, like, heal her. Do you reckon that boosting damage dealt by fusion arts counts inside of a chain attack? Because those are all fusion arts. Okay, well, I have shuffled around just about everything on a few characters. Tons of new accessories and a couple of different gems here and there. We really do need to check some of the gems that we've had for a while now that I know we have not checked to see whether or not they could be uh, upgraded to a better version. I know we just did some new gems, but I'm talking about some of the older gems that we've just not bothered uh, trying to refresh for a little while now. All right, big guy, you're next. Sorry about this. His name is Joyful Nimrug, which is such a wonderful, wonderful name for any living creature. Nimrug. And he's joyful. Guarantees an amazing rating when the hero completes an order, but they won't reactivate in this chain attack. That is very similar to Nia's, so I don't know why we'd want to use them. I, I guess that that does guarantee a pretty high damage, but it didn't. Even though it was an amazing, we didn't get a really high damage multiplier. It only went to 350. That's a stinky one. Wait, we're not getting the hero as an option? Oh, you... Gosh darn it. We have to go with Senna now, so we'll at least get a fourth round. But I... That... Unless... unless no, they're not going to give it to us in the next round. It's just going to be the Ouroboros option. That would be insane. Yes, 
disappointing. Very disappointing. The two we've had the most luck with have been Melia and Fiona. And I don't really need two sig signifiers in the party, so I'm gonna go back to Melia. Yeah, that's the Fornus region. Of course, Hollow is done. So apparently there's some guy right down here in a little area we've not been to before, even though we've definitely dropped a ladder down there before. I guess, oh shoot, wait, oh, I forgot I had auto run on. We're fine, it's all good. We've even come down here and got whatever that chest is, but I guess we just never came down here for whatever reason. Um, I don't see the boss that I was told was here, so I feel ever so slightly misled and lied to. Apparently what we're looking for is a creature called the Massive Gorgeous, which is definitely something I've been called before. Not really. No, not. Oh, oh, is it underneath here? Ah. Oh. Oh. Also a hidden area, just right here this whole time. All right then. I'm not sure if that's the name I would give this thing, honestly. It's sort of hideous looking. Yet another enemy art though, Fin of Fear. I'm sure that'll be very useful in our future endeavors. Oh. Oh, I know what we're missing over here. What's the fastest way to get back up there? I think this is going to be underneath where we need to be. But... We're going right there and then running up. Yeah, that would probably be the faster route. Unless we can get to there from here. Okay. I remember what's here. We deigned to encroach upon this creature's territory only once before. And we left in absolute shambles. Immovable Gonzalez. I'm afraid to say your time has come. Probably ought not all be standing right there. We can all get knocked out of the tree very easily. Actually, if I set this to uh, not focus attack, but follow leader, can I get them to come into the tree? There we go, where you're less likely to get knocked out, thanks. So the Crimson Lance is a side attack, and Fatal Barrage is a back attack. <laughs> Absurd. When you do it like this, it's like you got a pair of floating guns, which is just kind of a funny visual. Even if it is nonsensical. Also, the more he punches, the closer we get to a chain attack. Which, I'm gonna say, we can end him with this. A bit very bold. I, halfway through this attack, thought that I was being way too confident. And then in the end, we did good. In the end, we did good. We've basically done it. He's down now. I don't think it's one of our better showings, though. And it's one of those situations where immediately after I did the first move in the attack, I was like, oh. I could have made a much better decision there. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was like right at the end, I was like, oh no, I've already come up with something that would have been way smarter. Yeah, it's good damage. That is good damage. And we got a wild wave. It's like when you wave at your friend, but you go nuts. That's dumb. Disregard that. Oh, right, I forgot I had zoomed in and was just staring at invisible guns. I thought the game had just locked up. We've moved on to the Sierra Hovering Reefs, where apparently there is a, a unique boss on this island down here, which seems weird because you'd think we would have fought it. Is it the bull? It's definitely not the flying thing, I don't think. Although those, those do eat people from the city. It's, 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 it's not a bull. It's a very large mouse rodent sort of creature. It's immediately angry at my presence, which is odd because it's only level 39. You think it would know better. Oh, it's already toppled. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Launch that thing. It did not launch it. I hit the launch button and nothing happened. That's fine. Stop, stop that. I feel bad about this. Its baby is attacking now. This is messed up. It's okay to kill ugly animals. I don't want to kill the cute ones. Like, you look at a cow and you're like, that's just food. There's nothing else that could be. That's hideously ugly. It has no feelings, no emotion. You look in its cold, dead eyes and you think that creature exists to eat and poop and be milked and then eaten. It has no other function. This thing, though, looks like it likes warm cuddles. Yeah, wow. Well, there we go. Soul hacked. I just realized what an absolute pain in the neck doing the castle is going to be because of how you have to move around it 
and how everything here is a nightmare and wants to attack us even though it's way lower level and has no chance there's also apparently a, see what i mean these guys have no chance we're gonna just keep going they're they're gonna lose interest in us but apparently the bosses we're looking for are over here in this corner i reckon that's the two of them right there and hopefully we lose these guys please don't follow us all the way over here i don't have the patience to deal with your nonsense all right Fine. We'll deal with this guy first. Literally, absolutely nothing required. You see, you could have just, you could have just not. We literally have the queen with us right now. Why? I don't care. These guys are next. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and get my. Uh... Oh, that didn't work. Oh, oh no, no. Here we go. My fast charge ring. There we are. I don't, I, I don't know what that was all about. So these guys together are called the Executioners, but this one in particular is the Vengeful Dominator. We didn't dominate, dominate, dominate? He didn't dominate. He just didn't. Y'all ready to have a bunch of pure gems that get automatically sold? Let's go! There they go, baby. Hard though it is to believe, we're on to the Cadencia region. This one will be a little bit different though, because we do actually want to fill in this map. This is the one where we definitively want to see all of this become solid water. Which means that after tracking down all of the unique monsters and all of the landmarks, I'm also going to have to run around and find things that don't appear on the map. Like Knife's Edge Pass, that's what this is, but there's nothing denoting that on this map, meaning I might never have run over the trigger telling me that that's what that is. This here is Hidden Weapon Lab. Great Sword Passage, Saman Storing Storage Room. Like, I'm sure I've been to all these places. I'm sure I've been to Dock Number 3 and Centridge Harbor. So it's really going to be some of the other ones that are, like, you know, going to be difficult to discern unless we just go to them. Apparently there's land here, but it doesn't look like it's anything or that there's anything there, so I'm not worried about it. Like, there's a Brasa Spa up here, and the only way we'd know that is if we'd gone up there and looked, but we do know that already because we did go up there as part of a quest. Apparently there's two bosses in this room, so off we go. Do we want to get involved in whatever this is? Or do we want to just go fight those two guys? They're both a level 102. I feel like these guys are going to mind their own business. But also it might be a good taste of what to expect. That's a lot of no-pawn coins. Good gosh, this was a mistake! This is awful! This is the worst thing we've ever engaged with! It's going very poorly! Where are my healers? Where are both of my dead healers? Now I am dead. We're all about to be dead. You know what? This is okay. That's all right. Let everybody just everybody just die. Let's call it a day. Let's give up. This was a horrible idea. We're going to disregard whatever this nonsense is, and we're going to go try to fight these two bosses back here without everybody getting in our business. They look like a couple of uh, a couple of lizards, big ones. You all know what herptophobia is? Herptophobia is a fear of lizards. I'm not bringing that up because of these guys. I'm bringing it up because I have it, and currently there's a gecko in my bedroom. Now, it's not a big gecko. It's a gecko about the size of maybe one... Maybe like half of my index finger. Little fella. You might think, how does that bother you? It's not necessarily that it exists, right? It's more so that it keeps spooking me. Like, I'll be doing something, and then suddenly it'll just be present in my vision and it'll scurry in a way that I find gross and distasteful and it freaks me out every single time and I don't care for it and I, I want to get it out of my room. I thought I caught it once. It's been in there for a couple of weeks now. I just saw it again. I got up to go to the restroom and it was scurrying across my floor. I was like, why are you in here? How'd you get in here? And I want to get it, but I can't get to it. And also it doesn't help that I'm actually uh, slightly intimidated by it. Do we lack the ability to defeat these guys? Is this something we can't do? Possibly? Really? Why? Oh, it's because they have so much help as well. Like, I saw the, those guys in the background helping to fight. How do you do this? <laughs> what is the strategy? Why is everything here so high leveled? Do we need to defeat everything else in this cave? Or at least everything on this side of the cave? And then try to attract just the Turkin into combat with us? What is our what is our gains by defeating these guys? Are we getting a lot of class points by chance? 38 is not good. If we were like level 90, we'd be doing a lot better, I'll say that. Hold on, can this guy summon reinforcements? Oh, K. 
kill this guy right now. I did not realize that was an elite. Or I, mean, I guess I must have, because he had blue on top of his head, but I don't know. It just took me by surprise when that message suddenly popped up. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. If fighting this guy, we can get a chain attack activated, and then run up there and immediately start this encounter with these guys with a chain attack. Can we do that? Oh my gosh, hold on. Hold on. I'm locking onto this guy. And I'm starting the chain attack. <laughs> Even if we only defeat one of them, because I don't know how much in a chain attack AoE damage... I feel like we've talked about this before, but... Does AoE damage work in a chain attack? Like, obviously it damages the guy. It's not a matter of does the damage work, it's it's does it damage other things. I don't know. But even if we could just defeat one of them, or, or get it almost defeated, give us a chance here with this other guy. Oh, I cooked it. Oh no, I cooked it. Oh no. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Oh, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I'm just... I'm watching it all fall down around me. My once perfect plan. Ruined by hubris. I cannot believe my stupidity. A one second lapse in thought. Now everybody's back. Okay, but it was still a good plan, so we're doing it again. Oh, come on, it's so close. There we go. Nah, oh, yeah, we're gonna attack the lizard instead. Let's go, big boy. What? Wait, no, we should have gotten an Ouroboros attack! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Apparently five creatures from heaven only knows where have now joined this combat encounter. I don't know where they are, but apparently they're here because... Oh, no, it's back down to two. What the heck happened? Did we defeat it? We didn't defeat it. Did we defeat his minions in some way that I just didn't see happen? Where's Mio? I must res Mio and Noah. Mio is up. Get Noah up. And then lock onto the other one. Let me lock up. Whatever. 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 We're, we're panicking into this. I don't care. I understand we can't because we're locked onto this guy. That's why it wouldn't let us uh, change targets. I, I'm just I'm frustrated about it is all. We're going to defeat this guy. We're going to defeat him with, with room to spare. And everyone's going to be healed by the end of all this. So that's good. What I got to do though is now is I got to figure out why it didn't give us an Ouroboros round. Because we had everything we needed for it. It's not going to matter as much this time, because it's only going to be for, you know, extra HP, because we're going to defeat the guy this time around, I'm pretty confident, but still. Yeah, that attack also damages that other guy, I'm pretty sure. Because he reacts to it. So we're going to do Noah now. Because we've previously done Mio. So at the end of this... We should get another round. Watch, see, it absolutely hits that other guy too. Unless I'm just imagining that. Crazy damage multiplier. I can't wait to see what it looks like when we do our Ouroboros round. That we should get. Piss off. What the heck is wrong? Why are we not getting the Ouroboros round? What? Am I doing something wrong? Is it be- Oh, Ouroboros is blocked. We can't go to Ouroboros during the main combat. And we can't go into it during the- Actually, I got it. I figured it out. I've got it all figured out now. So this guy just summons more dudes to come fight with them. That's uncalled for. Uh, they're defeated now, or something happened to them. They're no longer present. I don't know how that works. It all makes sense now. I think we've even had that exact same confusion in a previous kind of boss battle situation where I was trying to figure out the exact same thing of like, okay, well, why 
Why am I unable to hold on? We should probably defeat these guys. Oh, never mind. They cease to exist after a while. I don't. I don't get why. We've had that exact same confusion though in the past, so it's good to that instead of having to wait for comments to explain it to me, I did manage to figure it out myself like a grown-up. Kill this man! Kill this turkey right now! With that in mind, I'm going to be playing a little bit differently. We did it. <laughs> no matter what happens now, we've done it. Even if I cook this moving forward, it's all just XP bonus. So we've done it at the end of the day is the important thing to take away from this. Even so, now that I think about it, we might have a bit of a struggle getting out of here. So taking the opportunity to get everyone healed up now, and then we're going to be delivering the final blow. Actually, Setup has the higher starting TP, so we'll go ahead and use her. Deal a ton of damage there. Get us to about, oh, 241. Decent damage multiplier. I think we've, we've hit at least a thousand on every one of these chain attacks when it comes to the damage multiplier. And uh, we're going to be getting, what, 400 XP bonus on top of whatever we're going to be getting otherwise. Not the highest damage output we've gotten in the past. I think because we're not getting that big Ouroboros round with the crazy high damage multiplier. But we did it. We defeated the King Kings. I don't know if I really want to ever be involved in this. I don't feel like it's necessary. I think we could probably leave here quite happily. And you know what? Thinking about it, I haven't checked... But I know that there is a boss out here in the Aegis, whatever you call it. And that could be our level 200. I don't want to skip directly to it, though, so I guess we'll kind of continue along our journey here. Oh, I take it back. We've done everything on this island. This is the next thing we have to do, is whatever is over here. All right, well, I kind of hoped by fast traveling to Whirlpool Triumvirate, we'd get our boat nearby. But that didn't happen. Do we want to swim all the way in here? It definitely can be done. Can you not get through right here? Looks like you can. Yeah. This is probably a mistake. Probably should have gotten the boat. Probably could have made it here faster. Uh, where exactly are we relative to... Oh, we have so far to go to get to the Aegis Sea. Which we've been in this area before, so we know what it's called. Never mind, we're fast traveling to here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, this this makes infinitely more sense as a means for traversal. <laughs> All right, we've been in here before. We know there's a big guy. All right, I think this is as close as it'll let me get on boat. The rest of the way we have to go. Is this the level 200, though? If it is, we'll have one go at it, and then we'll leave. Because I don't think we're going to defeat it. And we have other things to do anyway. Once we've done literally everything else, we can maximize, like, pick the best classes for everyone, because not everyone has their best class right now. We've got to pick the best classes for everyone, though. And then we can... Why is this thing colored like Nia... Uh, not Nia... Um, uh, Pyra and Mithra, right? Like, the body is sort of that, that crimson Pyra color, and then the wings have a bit of a... Mithra thing going on, and it's swimming in a place called the Aegis Sea. Is there anything to that? Seems unlikely. I'm sure if there was, yeah, no, that's 110. Levia Lord Imperio. Okay, sure. Absolutely, that's what that's called. It's odd that there's no fast travel point over here. We've been to this little island once upon a time. Maybe that's where his, like, tombstone shows up, or hers. All right, we'll give this one go. We'll give it one quick go, and then we're out of here. This could be dicey. Up to you. Yeah, you think so? <laughs> Sorry, you said this is going to be dicey, and it's up to me. Like, I didn't already realize that. There's no cheesing this one, either. With, like, oh, gosh, it even has an ugly face. Yep, here we go. Jeez, it is massive. If there was literally any other living creature around here... I would absolutely be cheesing our way into an early chain attack on this thing. Sweet heavens, that hit everybody, even the things that weren't directly in front of it. With that in mind, is it even worth trying to be in different places? Right? Or should we just all bunch up together we can kind of help res one another when people fall? Going into Ouroboros form to avoid taking damage, because Mio just did that with Noah right before she passed out, which was a brilliant maneuver. Oh gosh, I gotta get, I gotta get over to Melia. But its stupid wing, the feather arm fin is in the way. I hate doing a level one interlink, but 
If I can absorb some attack from this thing long enough for Uni to get Tyon, Mio, and Noah back on their feet, which seems incredibly unlikely, but if, if, if she can, and then we can come out of this into a chain attack, that would be fantastic. Yeah, focus all of your efforts on me. I am the worst thing out here. I am your only potential threat. Nothing else can hurt you, and there's no reason for you to attack anything else. Everybody's back on their feet, except for Melia now. This did kind of work. All right, Bale. Where the heck is Melia? Melia, why? That's all. That's my only question for you right now, is why? Why the heck all the way over here? Okay. Absolutely unbelievable. Okay, Melia's back. Everybody's up. Oh! This one is primarily... We're not going to try to defeat it in this round. We're primarily going to try to get everyone healed. All right, so we're going to get an Ouroboros round this time. I'm, I'm hoping. <laughs> Assuming our theory about why we weren't last time is correct, which... I'm pretty confident it is. Uh, my concern is not that we're not going to get an Ouroboros round. My concern is that, even though I'm pretty sure we're going to... Even with how much damage we've dealt it, we've barely got it down to half. And I've not been healing as much as I said I was hoping we were going to in this round. I said it was mostly about healing, not so much about dealing damage. But I'd, we'll see what our damage multiplier ends up being at the end. We just have to be smart. We just have to be smart. We're going to use this, and we're going to hope that this doesn't like somehow go crazy and go over 80, because then with 125%, it would go to... Yeah, no, we're good. That's good. A little healing. Tyon is currently the worst in terms of health. That didn't do much to help him. I don't know what our damage multiplier is going to end up being. I'm kind of hopeful, though, that we might get it right now. 1,500%. We're going to the, the, the Noah. Uh, limits Unbound normally does a ton of damage. Oh my gosh, we're going to get it. We're absolutely going to get it. There's no shot we don't get it. We got it! Was that 11 million damage? Did we just do 11 million damage? Holy snot, I think we just did 11 million damage. And Nell, thank you. I'm willing to say confidently that we would not <laughs> have managed to do that or any of the great feats that we've done with Chain Attacks had I not taken a moment to just watch a couple of Nell guide videos. Now, this is where Colony 15 used to be, but apparently there's supposed to be some bad guys here. Yeah, I guess they've moved in since Colony 15 cleared out. Did I do a save? Just wanted to do a quick save, just in case. Oh, you guys are weaklings. After, wait, was Ionios the strongest of discussion we needed to go have? I guess we should probably go do that. Then there was one. The four blades in the dark are not that impressive. While fighting them, though, I did have a thought. What if defeating all of Ionios' strongest and then having a conversation about it is what unlocks the alleged... Allegedly exists... Level 200 baddie. And then what do we do? All we can hope to do is stay long enough, stay alive long enough to get a chain attack, and then do better than that last chain attack. That last chain attack I did was the biggest chain attack I've done, I'm pretty sure, in the base game or the DLC. I can't remember what my biggest... I want to say it was maybe 7 million in the DLC. Uh, I, I want to say that, but I don't remember. But that last one we just did, my brain broke, because for a second I thought it said, like, a million. I was like, no, no, we've done more than... Time to do the right thing. Oh, you know what I mean? So, you know, it's a Far Cry. Definitely a Far Cry from 17 million that I've seen in, in an L's video. And 70 million, that's allegedly happened according to some guy on a Reddit post. Or maybe it was some sort of forum claiming that it happened. Comment down below. Let me know what your top attack was. I'm just assuming people are going to eventually watch this. Uh, these videos get 
erratically different view counts, and I don't think people watch this far into them, but there are a few people who dedicatedly watch through every episode. I appreciate it, by the way. Thank you. Welcome to the Let's Play. It's wild here. Yeah, Iono is the strongest. Let's go! Let's go! We got really strong, didn't we? Y yes What brought us on? Sinna and I were just having a chin wag. We've taken down some tough monsters, yeah? And not like a couple, but loads! Right! We've beaten monsters all the way up and down Ionios! Every enemy we met, we annihilated! I'm pretty sure we can take on anything the world throws at us! And? You know the Great Sword where the city was? Folks are saying there's a mega super strong monster there. Can we go and test ourselves against it? Try to smack it around a bit, please, Mimi? Uh, are you sure? It's like we said, ain't no mud in the world holds a cattle to us now. That's right, Mimi. I believe in us so much. Tyon, say something. Don't look at me. I don't speak meathead. My muscle thrum with anticipation. An eager fire is burning inside me. Uh, I haven't said yes yet. Okay, well now we know. If the level 200 exists, that's where it is, and also we should probably give everyone a nice, you know, shining up here on their clothes. Because I have a feeling, I mean, I haven't been paying attention, but we we're probably all looking a little gnarly. Also, we're all just in our regular clothes here. Is that normal? Not a discussion? And also, Melly is just there watching from the background. Apparently, there's a big bad guy around here somewhere. I don't know if he's, like, down below? Oh, not that thing. Oh, there he is. That must be him. Is it Oceanic Lunka or whatever? Yeah, o Oceanic Lucera. Can we not run off the side of the world, please, everyone? I know you really want to, but there's got to be a way to get close enough to shoot this thing and start this encounter. Oh, but I don't want to fight everything here. Is he heading to, like, this point up here, maybe? He's only 11, 7, level 73. Here we go. All right, shoot it. There we go. There we go. Okay, now everybody follow the leader as we run away from the edge. Run away from the edge. There we go. All right. We got to be careful casting like break and dodge and things on it while it's flying over the air. Because if it drops into the water and gets out of our range, the fight just ends like there it goes right now. See, now the problem is I'm just going to be chasing 11 million every time I do this. <laughs> if it's not that, I'm going to be disappointed. The problem with the chain attack is that to some extent, no matter what your actions are, some of it's going to be dictated by RNG and random chance. You know, you don't know what your completion bonuses on offer are going to be between rounds. You can't even really know exactly how much damage you're going to do. You can kind of know how, what your TP is going to be if you sort of understand the mechanics really well. But, like, I mean, that, that, that wasn't 11 million. And I don't feel like I really did all that much different outside of the fact that I didn't get offered the same options kind of in the same order like I did before. Is that the boss? There's a boss over here, but I don't know what it is. I hope it's not a flying guy. Kind of over flying guys. I would like it to just be a regular dude. I actually think it's on the next island over. And it could possibly be lower down, like on the actual beach proper. Because we've been over here and we've not fought a boss before. I think he's down there. Hold on. Yeah, we're just gonna drop ourselves down here. Not hit the rock. Okay, well that's fine. It didn't... It didn't count. <laughs> Perfect. I think he's down here, and if he's not, I'm gonna be very upset because I've thrown myself down here under the assumption that he's gonna be down here. Is that you? Are you the boss? Yeah, you're the boss. I went into a level zero inner link because I was fully confident that I would be able to defeat it before it was over. I'm less confident now, but never mind, I take it back. I'm now fully confident. I'm less confident that it's going to be me doing it, and I'm pretty confident that between the, the two Ouroboros we have open, we'll, we'll knock it out. Now, wait a minute. Now wait, now, wait just a darn minute here. We went back here during a thunderstorm and we fought the big guy. We, we, we did that. We came back and we fought him. Why is he... Didn't we? I, I seem to remember doing that. Where's his grave? Was that a fake memory? Did I misremember that? 
Did that get wiped out of the game? Am I crazy? Well, we'll just have to keep an eye on whether or not it starts thunderstorming, I guess. Oh, that's a big, beautiful, majestic beast. Darn shame that we're actually obligated to kill it. But what can you do? That was easy. <laughs> I completely spaced out during that fight. I guess that's the problem when you wait till you're like max level to come back and fight some of these things. Not that I'd have it any other way. It's nice that we're kind of doing mop up now. I don't know what this one is, but I do remember this island. I've come to it before. And apparently there's a boss monster here. I'm assuming this island exists specifically so when you locate and fight the boss, its gravestone has a place to go. It's around here somewhere. Should I just swim around till it pops up? Will it pop up if I'm on the boat? Because that's a faster way to swim around. We're on the literal edge of the world here. <laughs> have I been lied to? Have I been misled? It explains why this little shoal is here. If there's some sort of foul beast in the area. But where though? Hello? There's, there's nothing here. Apparently I made an error. It only shows up at night. Probably should have clicked on it and read about it before just zooming my way over here. But I'm ready for it now. As soon as it gets dark. I don't know why I didn't just set it to dark. I guess in my head it would take longer to get here and it would already be nighttime. But I should have remembered that it didn't take any time at all last time. So... You know what? You, you know what? Gosh darn it. <laughs> you know what's going to be fun about streaming 1 and 2? Is that I'll actually have people watching live to tell me when I'm doing something dumb. And correct my behavior. <laughs> so that's going to be fun. Looking forward to that. Oh yeah, there he is. That's what I'm looking for. I'm not even going to try to fight it from the island. We'll just fight it here in the water. I don't care. Come here. Come back. I'm gonna shoot you. There we go. Little balls of light saying, come on, fight me. Sometimes they just don't give you the hero's a completion bonus as an option throughout any of the rounds. You go three rounds and on the third round it's just still not an option, so you just don't get that extra bonus round that you would otherwise get from being able to use the hero. And it's like, why was I just not presented with that as an option at any point throughout this endeavor? And then I can only do 7 million damage. Why? That's your fault, game. I could have done more, but you didn't let me. All right, I did a little bit more digging, and it turns out the reason we're not seeing the gravestone for the guy we fought over here during the thunderstorm is because it only appears during thunderstorms, which is weird. You'd think it would still be there, and if you tried to challenge him, it would say, come back during the rain. But no, it's just not there at all, which makes this confusing, but that's okay. So I believe we saw this one when we were over here investigating Irma's little secret cave, and we said we would come back and deal with it later. Well, it's later, and we're back to deal with it. It's rather small. For such a high level, it's a rather small creature. I like that the camera pulled us all the way back for that when it's not necessary. <laughs> the creature's not that big. Man, nine mil just don't hit like it used to. I mean, it still hits, though. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's, it's like, you know what? It's, it's like... I don't have a comparison. I was gonna say something like, it's like chocolate milk when you're a kid versus chocolate milk when you're an adult, but... No, chocolate milk still hits as well even when you're an adult. In fact, it might hit harder. Because you're like, I really should not be drinking this as a grown adult, but... Mmm, mmm, mmm. Sugary chocolate sweet goodness. I wish I had some right now. Apparently there's a guy right out here by this little island. That we've not seen before. Doesn't appear to be special in any way. Like, does, doesn't need to appear at any particular time or anything. That's just funny. It's just funny. It's such a little island. There's just a feller out there. Also, is it? it's not that little island right there, is it? Oh, it seems so much further away looking at the map. Isn't that the, the Twin Palms Island? I guess it's, 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 it's got to be, unless there's another little island. Hold on, let's look at the map one more time and make sure. Oh, no, it is actually... I see it now! I see it now, and no wonder we didn't notice. It's this. 
an island. <laughs> you know what? We should have expected there would be a monster here if we ever noticed this tiny little island. Because what other purpose, what other form or function would it serve, aside from hosting an ether channel, than to host the grave of a monster after we've defeated it? And we probably could have parked a little closer to it but it's too late to go back now. I am not going to do this chain attack at this point. We're just gonna wrap this one up here. Two minutes, 20 seconds, 21 seconds. Positional attacker, what a cool skill to get. Can you break the game with Soul Hacker? Comment down below and let me know. I have no idea. And L probably has a video for it. I don't know, it just never seemed particularly intriguing, but maybe after you've done a lot of monster battles and gotten a bunch of skills. Maybe it's the most easily broken thing. Enel has a guide, a complete guide to Soul Hacker that is an hour and 14 minutes long. Whew! As well as show which monster gives that art skill. Show off the best one. Did you think I wasn't going to watch it? While I'm watching that, there's another little island here that has a monster by it, so. We're gonna head back up north a ways. Oh yeah, there it is, tiny little island. What reason does it exist if not to host a grave of a soon to be defeated? Hey, uh, is that is that is that thing have is that a mount? It's got a it's got a feller on its back. I think I fought these before in some of the other games. Actually, we might have fought one of these in the. I might be remembering wrong. I don't think this will be eleven million. But I think this will be pretty high. And I'm curious to see how high. Also, I am still watching that video. I've got it playing in the background. I'm learning a lot about what seems to be a very tedious class to like level up and train and everything. I expected more, but we defeated it and that's what matters. Well, I'm a little baffled because based on what I'm looking at here. I think we've done everything and been everywhere, and the map's not filled in yet. I don't think there's any bad guys left. I'll, I'll have to give it a second go through, but it certainly doesn't look like there's anyone left around here. Are you kidding me? The one thing I'm seeing is that the third pillar remnant is right around in here, and I guess it's possible I've just never run directly to that part of the map and gotten that to pop up on the screen because look look at, it, at this screen and seeing where it's located it's possible that's the case although that's going to be awkward and embarrassing if that is in fact what it is we're missing because i've been to this island numerous times it's been a long time but i remember finding all of this up here and sort of realizing what it was and, and having a moment of like oh yeah we'll fight this guy i remember the fight with the guy up there Actually, I, I think I even remember the YouTube video I was watching. I might have been watching, was it Microwave Society it could have been? Who watched all the Fred movies? And I think I was watching that while I ran around this island trying to figure out how to get up on top of some of these places. And I think the ultimate conclusion was that you're not meant to. <laughs> Gosh darn it, I was trying though. Yeah, I think right around this beach up ahead, if we get up there and it just says on the side of the screen that we, you know, it, it has the location, it doesn't come up and go ba 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 ba, and announce that that's what it is, then I'd, I'll have to go through the whole map again, because I'm obviously missing something. But look, you can see that the, the pillar there is clearly in a dark zone, so I have not stood next to it. I've run back here, kind of behind it, and been up on that ledge up there. This could be it. This could also just like fill in and, and not fill in the map because there's one other thing I've missed. But I think we're about to get something pop up on the screen saying, you found the thing. I've never been here before. Okay. Yeah, we have never been here before. You were right about that, Noah. See all the places. Oh my gosh, that was it. <laughs> we did it. We filled in the map, everyone. It's done. It is finished. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So the last two monsters, like, we've gone through the whole map as far as I can tell. Uh, except for Origin. Gonna have to go through Origin. Uh, Cause I'm sure there's some things we haven't fought there. But the last two monsters are inside of here. One of them is a level 90 Havenraiser Egret. 
And the other is a level 120, Seraphic Seratinia. I was told there was a level 200. Maybe the levels are higher if you're in a different mode. You know it doesn't mention, but I bet that's what it is. I bet that it's a higher level if you are playing on a higher difficulty. Which we are not! So it's only going to be a level 120, Whoa, which I can't remember. I think the, the biggest one we fought was... It was the big dragon, the big water dragon out in the Erythia Sea. Was that 110? Can't remember now. Well, we're going to go have a nice warm-up with the level... What did I say? It was a 90 somewhere around here. According to the map, it should be right around in here. The level 90. I don't see... Oh. Oh, there you are. You're flying too, aren't you? I'm not actually this sure what this creature is, but from the looks of things, yeah, it's zooming. I gotta figure out how to reach it and engage it in combat and not also engage its entire family if possible, if we can avoid that. And then as for where the big boss is, he's down there somewhere. I'll have to go figure it out. Come on, you. Oh, perfect! Thank you! You were, you were itching for a fight, weren't you? Oh my gosh, you've been down for how long? I just realized <laughs> I've been standing right over here in a fast-charging circle doing nothing about their problems. Well, we'd be dealing a whole lot more damage if we'd been given the opportunity to use Melia at any point for the completion bonus and that extra little round, but we weren't because the game sometimes is a jerk and says, no, I'm not going to let you do that. You'll do too much damage and the fight will be too easy and you might have fun and we can't have you having fun now, can we? So we're not going to let you defeat the boss during this chain attack because Shrek you and you're only going to do 3.97 damage and there's no big extra multiplier for the, 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 the class points and all that. Go Shrek yourself sideways. I, there's, I don't think there's any mechanics that dictate whether or not that pops up during the rounds. Rather, it's just a matter of how much the game likes or hates you at any given time. Hello! A big bad boy! A big super boss! Where are you? You should be here! We were told you'd be here! Not these guys. These guys are unaffiliated with the super boss, I think. Should I check and see if there's any particular spawn conditions? We know that we already had the conversation about it. So I guess I'll check real quick and see if there's any sort of... um. Requires you to defeat four other unique enemies. We did that. Defeat the above four and discuss Ionios is strong. Okay. <laughs> we've, we've wandered into it, I suppose. Uh, is this really the right place? There's dialogue. To me. Eh, it was just a rumor. No big deal if it's false. No. Note the silence. It's unnaturally quiet. Huh? What the? I don't... Huh? Pretty. Sparks! What's going on? Oh, can't even... Thanks. <gasps> behind you. Huh? Ah! What a magnificent beast. Wow. Okay. Now this. Yes, the rumor was actually bang on then, eh? This is Ionios' the strongest. We just waltzed straight into it then. Stay frosty, guys. <sighs> we are not prepared for this. Something tells me we're going to be having a couple of goes at this one, you know? We do not want to be in front of it right now. I'm, I definitely want to move. 
Oh my gosh, everyone is down. Everyone is down and dead. Get everyone back up. I don't think I'll be able to cheese this one by getting into a fight with something else and then wandering over to it, which means we're going to have to figure out how to defeat it genuinely, which we're not doing a great job of so far. What? I don't even understand what it just did. It didn't even take him a minute. I mean, granted, we're not all dead yet. We still got Noah and Mio out there putting up the good fight, so we made it a minute and looks like... Uh, maybe, maybe about to be 15 seconds? She's still got 300. Oh, no. Yeah, there we go. Well, yeah, we won't do that again. Guess what Anel has a guide for? <laughs> Here we are. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we can finally put arts on here. I mean, we've been able to change these out for a while, but not these, uh, are these master arts, I guess. I don't know. I changed a bunch of stuff. We'll see how well it works. One thing I do know what we're going to do is we're all going to stay together this time. And also, I'm going to go ahead and do this now. What we need to do is we need to get a lot of things like uh, things that are going to boost our defense. And stop going over there. Come back over here. Where are you going? If you go over there when you get defeated, and you will get defeated, I have to run over there to get you. Come back and stand over here, gosh darn it. Why are we not, why are we not doing things like casting healing spells and whatnot? Why are we all running around the monster? Look, I'm dead. I'm dead. Lance is dead. Lance, if you were over here, you wouldn't be dead. If everyone was over here, everyone follow leader. Follow leader. Okay. There we go. Stay to get Melia. Gosh dang it. It's hard to make the argument that you're overpowered when you're dead already. I mean, it's we're kind of hanging in there. But it's it's a case of just constantly resing people to be immediately downed. Okay, yeah. Oh, I'm up. What do you know? This is, um, this is awful. I no longer know what I'm doing anymore. I keep going into that menu and making changes, and I, I come back out, and I sort of... Like, so much has happened, I don't really remember the context of everything. But a lot happened, I know that much. He needs a troubadour now. Someone on the internet said that was the best late game healing class. I don't even know if that's true or not. There's a lot more regenerating health things on the ground, that's nice. That's pretty good. Can we get a, can we get a healing circle up, please, somebody? One of our healers? Oh, one of them is inside- okay, the useful one that actually does healing is inside of a, a gosh darn Ouroboros form. You know what? Can't have that. Uh... Mio's up! Tyon's out! Ugh! Every time I hit the button! We did decent. It's not gonna be the highest damaging we've ever done. I'm sorry to say. But we got him possibly by the end of the chain attack to halfway. It doesn't kind of look like that, though. I think this is where we go and we spin around on his face, and that normally does a lot of damage. Almost halfway. Ugh. <sighs> If we could just get the same party we used before to do 11 million damage, but actually get them to the point that they could do the chain attack, because that's the problem we're having, is that we can't get them to survive that long. Oh, we've not seen that before. That's new. I'm panicking. I'm panicking because he's doing a big attack, and my, my best bet, my, my, my surefire thought on this, was that if I just went into this uh, into the Ouroboros form, at least we'd survive it. Holy snot, we got him toppled. That means we can launch him. Well... We had the opportunity to. We didn't quite get it, but it was on the table. We have a potential. If we don't get party wiped, but it, in the time it takes for us to get the next half of the gauge filled, we could possibly defeat him in the next chain attack. Assuming we get everyone that we need in the chain attack and I don't accidentally hit the button right as someone dies. By the way, I was watching Enel's video guide for how to defeat this at level 200, and I found out that apparently the way you do it uh, the way you get him level 200 is you just keep fighting him from his gravestone, and the, uh, after about, I think, fighting him 10 times, he said, you'll eventually be able to challenge him at level 200. Now, we're not going to do that now or ever, if I'm honest with you. Chain attack. <laughs> we're never going to do that, because if we manage to defeat him here, we're done. Oh, no! Well, I thought for sure that at 15... There's no possible way she would be able to get enough extra TP to push us over 100, and I was wrong. 
somehow. Not everything is over, though. In fact, nothing is over, because I think we, we still have a great opportunity here to do this. No one has launch. We had days and burst here, but no one has launch. I don't know if there are any benefits to days. While stunned, targets cannot dodge attacks, so attackers can hit the day's target with 100% accuracy. Dazed enemies can be sent into the air, spinning with burst, and will have an enraged effect removed. Well, that's good. Assuming we use burst before the end of this. No guarantees! This is such a weird attack strategy here. Using three, because <laughs> all we had available to us was three defenders, so that's what we did. We did what had to be done. I feel like in terms of damage dealt, we've done the worst this round of any chain attack since we started fighting this guy. And I don't mean this round of chain attacks, I mean this entire chain attack. It's just not been pretty. Mm. Our damage multiplier's 30. I, you know what? I think we got it. I'm willing to say we got it. My gosh, I think we're gonna get it. It's like my heart is just like complete. It's not even beating fast. It's just, it's just kind of in a state of like, are you kidding me? Are you absolutely kidding me? And now he has every opportunity to party wipe us, other than the fact that we just burst him. So he's no longer enraged, which is something. But are you kidding me? We didn't, whatever. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna finish him off with this, I guess. I'll throw out that uni is down now. If I had just used Noah there at the end to go for the damage, instead of using Mio, because I, I went with Mio to try to get the damage multiplier up right at the end. We, we would have had him defeated. And where we're at right now, it kind of looks like we're not going to defeat him. Because we're about to fall out of our Ouroboros form and all of our heroes are dead. Healers are dead. All of our healers are down. Thank heavens. And I had to do all that. If you're wondering why I didn't change lands, it's because I didn't want to do this again to get the, the doohickey. <sighs> yeah, be dead. Gosh darn you. Ugh. <sighs> Challenge. You challenge the super boss. So that's different than retry. So every time, so his level's higher, it's 125, and then every time the, the, the level goes up, the star level goes up. Are we gonna have a conversation about this? Are we good?